na pari mamang Ana pari babae Ana paro duto Enda lo duto mapoka neno Ana pari mamae Anabari babae Anabaro duto Enda lo duto mapoka neno Limna uru ya ye Kakaparo duto Ero andiko nubarua Munda nyisu Kakaparo duto Nana pari mama Ana pari baba he Ana paro duto Lodo ma poka neno lim na uru ya ye lim na uru ya ye lim na uru ya ye lim na uru ya ye. That's amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are. That was Corinne by the end. We are back, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just over, I'm just over myself right here, enjoying this music, and I hope you're enjoying. And if I want you to tell them to congratulate them because they have great music, and you're gonna do that by texting on two two one six two, starting the word power. So please text in, and uh, let's keep the uh, and let's encourage them and say how beautifully they sing, as you have heard. Uh, underscore champagne, right? Uh, she, she just went down like champagne, right? <laughs> also, but uh, tell us something about your the, the song that you just sang. First of all, which language was that? That is Luo. Luo. Yeah. Hey, ting maber ayinya. It was Luo. It was Luo. Hey, it was Luo Pian. I'm being told by producer. Oh, it was okay. Luo Pian. Hey, so tell us a, 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 li a little bit about the song. Yeah. So uh, the song is by Fila. I had it for the first time on YouTube, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's about, it's saying, pray for me. Pray for me. Yeah, it's saying like, uh, the first line I'm talking about, mom. Pray for me, say, pray for me in the... Lemna. Lemna. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I'm thinking about you, mom, I'm thinking about you, dad. I always think about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pray for me. You're, you're the last one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No wonder you're like, yeah, I'm thinking about your mom. Yeah. That's a <laughs> beautiful. And you, you, your song, which you also beautifully sang, tell us a little bit about it, by the way. So uh, it's called Unaweza. 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 Mm. So um, I got to know uh, someone called Brian Kinkit. He's a rapper. So he came up to me and asked me if I can write something we can do, um, record. I actually didn't know I could write. And, uh, has wrote it and just sent to it, send it to him and uh, it was like this is a really nice song. Mm -hmm. So um, from there onwards I started writing and yeah. It's a that's beautiful all song. About it. It's actually a beautiful Thank song. You. Yeah. And it's an original you said. Yeah, it's an original song. Yeah, yeah, yeah awesome. Right. And also you, you're also coming on air with, with, with a song now in a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, is it an original what you'll be hearing? Because I will not have a chance to ask you after your interview. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell us a little bit about the song that you'll be expecting to hear from you today. Well, um, it's an original. It's a it's a song I wrote when <laughs> I was deeply in love. <laughs> <coughs> when you were sorry, mom. I'm so, I just said I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> uh, oh, your mom thinks you have no girlfriend. Yeah, she thinks oh. I'm the holy Joe. You know, you, she was expecting to be a priest, <laughs> and now you've just broken her heart. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm mom. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> but yeah, so I it, I just decided to write it because it's the moment when you're trying to to approach someone but 
it, you feel as if they are putting barriers on you and you can't even get to get to them. So it's a song just telling this person, Acha ni kupende. Mm. So a it's a very simple song. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Like you want to love someone and they, they are like uh, having second... Uh, exactly. Okay, okay. That's beautiful song. Mm -hmm. Now you, you're growing into the music industry, right? You're, you, you seem to be like uh, you want to make your... Im, Im, impact basically in especially in the music industry how do you think music is received here in Kenya and what do you think are the pathways uh, what would you expect of the society to do for you be spontaneous any one of you can take it up um, <laughs> okay let me take it up yeah. so I feel like uh, the society could actually start supporting Kenyan music because there's people who can really sing there's depth but uh, the society does not support enough. Does they, they do not support the, the singers yeah. well enough. Okay, yeah. all right. And uh, for you, what do you think? Well, uh, I can concur with what she said. Uh, I think in Kenya, we tend not to um, promote our own music as much as we do promote Westernish music. Mm -hmm. So I think that can be a really good starting point for promoting upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So it can be, d d but do you think the government is doing, would you say the government needs to do a little bit more? To I say I have, okay, honestly, mm. I, I don't think I've seen anything um, concerning the government into music, into I'm music. sorry. So <laughs> you may not, so yeah. I haven't mm. had anything. They haven't so they should anything. step Probably up and do something. Probably that's a good, that means they, something ought to yeah, be done, yeah, right? Be done, yeah. Now, there was, there was a complaint, uh, Ethan's, about uh, that we don't have good venues for good performances. Mm -hmm. Just like in football, we don't have great stadiums like what we are seeing in Russia. Also in music, uh, mm -hmm. some people are saying we don't have good places. Uh, to perform like when we had Rick Ross coming in Kenya, he went performing in Kanwa and it rained. It was not so pleasant mm -hmm. for the revelers. W what, what do you think? What's your take? Well, I actually think that when it comes to music, mm -hmm. the venue is really a very small percentage. Mm -hmm. There are amazing places out here where you can go and get a nice audience to listen to your music. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone would, would try and lean uh, and and say mm -hmm. that the venues aren't enough or aren't good enough. Mm -hmm. I think um, that wouldn't be very very correct. Mm -hmm. Although I do have to say that we have to well, um, probably when, when, when you're a big artist and uh -huh. you want to come to now perform, mm -hmm. and that time you're attracting five thousand people, then maybe probably the old, the yeah. the where you maybe want I'll to, yeah maybe <laughs> that, I'll that time see you might that. realize. Yeah, exactly. Hey, by the way, um, 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 you don't have a lot of space now. Um, we have had these cases now. I want to do to take you to a little bit of depressive, uh, depressing uh, discussion from you. Like, you, what's your take on it? Um, where we see sometimes youth like you, your age, you know, posting something on Facebook and committing suicide on social media. Uh, what's wrong? Let's hear from the youth. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm gonna start now with you. Mm -hmm. Coming back this way. I think I really think there is a lot of pressure on the youth. We are expected to, to usually most parents expect us to be academic giants, you know, and so the the, the youth don't actually seem to be able to exploit their talents because there's a lot of untapped talents. You know, if if I'm doing something that I love, if for example I'm I'm, I'm singing, I love music. I won't have any need to kill myself, you know. So if we can just help the youths to channel their energy towards positive things mm -hmm. such as talents, you know, mm -hmm. it will actually improve everything in the society. I, I think that is a major problem. So you feel the young people are under a lot of pressure to perform, yes. but the opportunities are so limited. Yeah, it's so like, it, you see, they say you can't judge a fish by its ability to climb, the, climb tree. the tree. Yeah, you true. have to put it in the water, you yeah. see how it swims. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, so mm. I think that is a very big challenge. Ah, you see, the youth have answers, yeah? Let's go, Tony. So, uh, partly let me just say, uh, drugs and lots of peer pressure mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. lead to one committing suicide. Um, and again, I, I think that in Kenya, we don't have many platforms for the youth to show their talent mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me just say that some parents, sorry to say, uh, how can I put it? They like pressuring their kids into study more than nurturing their own talents. Mm -hmm. So when a 
some somebody like a teenager looks at the situation whereby there are no places I can do this, my own thing. I'm being pressured to, so, do, to do something I don't mm. want to do. Mm. So they just feel like they want to give out. To, to, yeah, to okay. just kill themselves. So yeah. the, the idea that you can do something separate from academics for some parents is really out of question. You're wasting yeah, yeah. your life. Yeah. All right, uh -huh. Champagne? Well, I would put a huge weight of blame on cyberbullying. Cyberbullying, okay. Yeah, I believe that uh, lately, uh, say, Probably 80% of Kenyan youth are on uh, social media platforms with unknown names, unchecked. So anything can happen. For instance, people will put you down on social media. People will ensure that you feel their presence on mm, social media, mm, sure. whether negatively or positively. Yeah. So cyberbullying is actually mm. a real issue that it we is. are not looking into. So recently they passed the bill about checking on the social media and whatever they were looking at was wasn't helping in uh, i think mm -hmm. so uh, they were looking at posting a video you need to like pay you need to pay it's not about paying yeah, that's uganda right they, they <laughs> started the tax thing yeah they started but yeah. in kenya mm. i don't think it will push through yeah because um uh, bloggers already at a while mm. and I think cyberbullying is a, is, is a big can group, drive yeah, you to, yeah, to, to suicide. suicide. Yeah, it's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. Among the things as a broken, you know, heartbreaks and all that, and which <laughs> takes before before I ask you that question, I want just to read the three three texts here. Yeah, voices. These voices are saying that people should, uh, you know, even when the things are bad, take time to smile. You you are helping people to do that. That is amazing. I like those sounds. Big up, Dominic, from George uh, from Don Bosco. And then I think Wendot should know Ethan. They are they are amazing. Shout out to Ethan. He's on from PAK. What's PAK? Oh, the just the best place to be. It, the, it's it, it stands for Peace Ambassadors of Kenya. Oh, okay, I thought it's yeah. a place. <laughs> that would have been no my place. <laughs> okay. We are proud of him. All right. So Peace Ambassadors of Kenya are really absolutely proud of you now. I want to guess to go to the last uh, bit of today, something that you touched on. The, sometimes musicians are accused of too much about image, you know, that uh, you're very good at singing that, uh, about love, but you don't know how to live it. I don't know if you get the, that, right? Mm -hmm. That if you, want to, if you want to look at breakups, look at the musicians who sing about love. All right? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I want us to explore this a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, that uh, at the end of the day you have great art like uh, you the two of you at least the gentlemen here but the, at the end of the day it's all about the ladies i mean i have no problem with that then <laughs> 10 years later you are down the drain simply because uh, i don't know if you understand the gist of what i'm uh, I'm, I'm heading to here we're getting all right there. so i mean what's your <laughs> what's your take on it i mean definitely you, you're gonna get popular you're gonna the ladies are going to hear to love your music the gentlemen are going to say hey can you pray for me? Yeah. <laughs> you said what's the name for it? Lemme. Yeah, it's pretty and Definitely also for you, you're going to get uh, people, uh, people calling you up. I have heard some of uh, artists here in Kenya, the, the ladies, uh, some, some politician or some business person calling up and say, can I marry you? How do you swim through this? I'm going to start here, uh, start again. Let me start now with the right at the center here. Tony. Well, uh, let me just say on the part of uh, ladies going further than uh, the guys, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I can say is that uh, as an artist, yeah. especially writers, yeah. you need to write something that um, people will remind, will remember Relate. you mm -hmm. with. Uh, you see, like somebody like um, Michael Jackson, when you oh listen yeah. to Thriller, something that will be living on and on and on mm. and on. And uh, the message also as well, needs to be put into your music like it will be listened on and on i don't know where you're getting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um yeah that's my take now, uh, still i'm gonna take you to back to that question a bit mm -hmm. tony you are there now you are a star you're growing you've yeah. got like uh a uh, hundred girls trying to see how they can reach you and you know wow you look like a snack you know and i want to make <laughs> you into a meal how do you respond to that <laughs> Well, uh, I think that will have a lot of pressure. I haven't reached there yet, so yeah, let me just please. There. <laughs> she, he's and, uh, heading there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the ladies. Totally, he's totally, heading there. Totally. 
So let me just say I'll deal with that moment when it reaches. <coughs> <laughs> That's like saying you're going to be a great star when that music is You're preparing right now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, to be a great star. Even that's tough now. Huh? Okay, what do you think? Well, I think that in truth, um, when you're an artist, you, you, you're a brand. So you obviously, you have to sell that image yeah. apart from your music. Sure. And if, if my music is contemporary, or if I'm singing more love songs, mm. Uh, I would expect that my target audience are, are the ladies. Definitely. And if they are going to love the music and they that's love the okay. person, that's going to be fantastic. That's, that's but a how bonus. My question is, eh? mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, how are you going to mm -hmm. keep it real? Well, now you have a wife. Take, yeah. for example, some time. Huh? Yeah. You've got a wife, yeah. you've got some kids, uh -huh. and it's that moment where uh -huh. your wife doesn't look as pretty, <laughs> and then out there, the ladies are saying, yeah. Well, I think oh. most of these things come to, they, they actually, it, it's about your, your inner self, mm -hmm. your inner discipline. The moment you're able to, to know your principles mm -hmm. and you're, you're ready to stick by them, the ladies will come, the fame will come, the money will come, mm -hmm. but as long as you know where you're Keep headed, focused. you're focused, you're focused all the way. Hey, and that's man. something I learned from the Peace Club. It's, wow. It's an amazing You are wise thing. beyond your years. Thank you. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, I wouldn't answer this from experience. Goja Kwanza. Okay. She's going atapata mafisi hatapata. Atapata. Wote. Uh-huh. So I wouldn't answer this from experience. I just say what I think. <coughs> speaking for a friend, okay? Yeah, you're speaking for a friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. I believe it's a matter of choices. Like just make a choice because in the end of the day it's upon you. So when you look at the bigger picture is it your wife or is it the ladies out there? So it's a matter of choices. It's not easy, but yeah, you pray about it. <laughs> <laughs> Even when this uh, beautiful and handsome guy coming with a range and, uh, okay, great. No, but I, I'm, I'm saying this because this is gonna be a real challenge, you know? And uh, I'm a psychologist by profession and I, I know what it is when there is a base of a, of a, of a like, um, you're fighting to keep an image of being happy, always singing love songs, mm -hmm. and you are in that moment in your life where you're actually depressed, you know? Uh, and, and that's a crisis where, you remember, you remember DJ Avicii, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's sometimes the crisis that we don't see. You know, we only sing you on stage, or dress nicely, beautiful makeup, all that, singing beautiful music, uh, but, but we don't know what is happening behind there. So you, mm -hmm. to keep that real, I think, is the biggest challenge. Yeah. Now, I want to thank you all of you for coming. Yeah, we have come to the end. Mm -hmm. All right, you've come to the end. And but since uh, so, you maybe you want to say hi to somebody, <laughs> so please say your final. Uh, you want to say hi to somebody like thirty okay. seconds or so. Do okay. that, and uh, if you have some final words, say absolutely go for it. Okay, um, I would like to say hi to my family, <laughs> uh, my dad, my my bro, and my mom. Uh, I'd like to say hi to to uh, a lady called Diana. I'm, <coughs> yeah, I'm dating her right <coughs> no, I'm now. I'm just having a call. <laughs> yes, and I would also like to say hi to oh, Akiwako Wengi. <laughs> Very many friends. Okay. But before before I get to that, uh -huh. I'd just like to mention that there's this um if you're watching there's a very very epic show mm -hmm. coming on the on the 19th of August. 19th of August. Yeah, so it's it's going to be amazing, a musical play, and there's a lot of acts, Where? and it's going to be at um, s at Michael Joseph Center. Michael Joseph Safari Center. Com. Say, say the date again. 19th of August. 19th of August, yeah. Michael Joseph Center. What time? At 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Yeah, 4 but PM. you can follow me on Instagram, and I can give you details about the tickets at yeah. Ethan Muziki. Yeah, just but I just mm. say your, your social media in case someone before. Okay. Yeah. Also, so please do the same when you come to you. Okay. Yeah. Our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, it's all at Ethan Muziki. At Ethan Muziki. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Uh, so 19, the yeah. Tukutane, uh, Tukutane Safari comes Michael Joseph Center. Perfect. For a musical. Uh -huh. Awesome. Thank you, Ethan, for coming. Thank I you. I totally appreciate. You can be getting set right there. Okay. And then, uh huh.
So I'd like to give a shout out. Which camera? Please? Yeah, uh, you we can. Uh, yeah, camera two. You can see camera okay, two. Okay, I'd like to give a shout out to my mom. She's been a very great pillar of what I am now. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to all my friends, Sarah, Chris, Flo, everybody. I love you all. Thank you for so much for watching, and I hope you'll be part with me. Will be with me through this journey. And uh, thank you so much, everyone. So you can follow me on Instagram at uh, Tony underscore Gray underscore Official underscore Music. And that uh, on Facebook, uh, Tony Gray. Tony Gray. Tony Gray. Gray with an A. With an E. A. A. All right. G R A Y. G R A Y. Yeah. Before we before we, we come to you, thank you so much, by the way, Tony, for coming. You, thank you was, for having me. Yeah, it was great seeing you and uh, hearing you sing absolutely great music. Yeah, the show is really amazing. Uh, you guys are rocking the show absolutely. These guys have talents. Yeah, uh, seemingly Ethan Wewe and your hapa ulikuja kuharibu watu. Albanus, Albanus from Embakasi says hi. We love your very own. We love you, our very own again, Ethan. <laughs> Lord, you're going places, my guy. This Cynthia Peter from CP, that is Park Chuka. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Tony, a huge fan, Evan Getito. All right, huge fan. Yeah, you got a huge fan. Hey, show is Lit Manze Kwanza with <laughs> Ethan, biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Go take a dogo. <laughs> same same guy. Okay, all right. So not different. All right. Uh, it's uh, it's when dot an again. Thank you, Whiteface, for creating this platform for the youth to express themselves. Amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing. All right. So there you are. Uh, I'm sure that the text will be coming and we'll be reading them before we finish up. So if you are, if you want to be part of this conversation, definitely send me those texts on 22162, starting with the word power. And let me know what you think of this talent and the music that you have had this evening as we go to the lady in the house. Champagne. Yes. All right. Go for it. Um, go smooth. Uh, <laughs> which camera? Two. Two would do. Four. Okay. Four. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to actually give a huge shout out to my support system. That is Catherine, my sister, Sylvia, my other sister. Then there's my mom, Bonita on Safari. That is a blog. You should check out that blog. Bonita She's on great. Safari. Yeah, she actually okay. won Baker Awards recently. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Cindy, the list is endless. Bella, there's Lois. I just want to say thank you so much. Nobody ever believed in me like you guys. Then my friends from high school and my friends from campus, thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Now, ladies, lady and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming to the show. It was absolutely amazing having you. And uh, you're competing, and I'm hoping to hear your audios coming out to watch your video. So, and I wish you the best as you continue to fly high. And okay. when you have a new song, please do come over. You know, just uh, holler me and tell you, hey, I have a song I would like to come and perform at your show. Mm -hmm. You are absolutely welcome. And you have a green ticket. Is it a green ticket? Yes. Do you call it a green ticket? Yeah. Or a yellow card? Yeah. <laughs> oh, green card. Oh, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> the one. Oh, yeah, I thought it's a yellow card. That's then sound as yellow fever. Mm -hmm. So thank, thank you for coming. I, I really appreciate it. So I hope you enjoyed the Power Talk Show with me, your host. And today we are calling The Sound of Music because with Art Africa, uh, we were talking about music today, he, listening to these young musicians, and it was absolutely great music. I am so happy to have had them. I was feeling a bit low when I was coming in the show, but having listened to them, and uh, I'm really feeling good. I think I'm, I'm like feeling I'll make it in life. I hope you're feeling the same. And I also want to thank you all for watching, to thank my team right here on the show. And now I'm going to give it to Ethan to rock the show. All the best. God bless. Be mad. Be exceptional. Make a difference. See you next Wednesday. Ethan, fly with it. Achani kupende Atabada ya usiku nikulinde Kama ibada ni we wako milele We acha ni kupende Oh na iwapo Ningumu siogope Ku 
Cause I'll be right here Oh, I'll be right here Na iwapo I'm in too deep So fast, just know Yeah, it's because I wanna love you hey, Even past the night And I wanna hold you hey, Oh, would you tie? I know I can be your man I can be your man Your Mr. Right If you let me love you, let me love you, baby. Vile vitu wanifanyia iko wazi, sijiwezi na mimi siyo kiziwi. Umapenzi na kuenzi, but I want somebody who understands me. Kauza. I can lose my cool at times And also I can get so jealous at other men's rhymes But yet you, you stretch your hand into my bruising heart And you save me from the fire Oh yeah, nandi umana sinahaya kusema Chani kupende we Hata bada ya usiku nikulinde Nikulinde kama ibada Niwe wako milele You're Mr. I Won't you let me love you Won't you let, won't you let Let me love you Won't you let Let me love you Won't you let Won't you let me love you Even past the night, I chani kulinde. And hold you tight, niwe wako milele. You're Mr. Right, won't you let me love you? 